Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about two kinds of street photography. I go out into the streets of New York. I'll put some of my New York street photos up that were made while I was out on my trip to Brooklyn. And when I go out to work, I walk with the camera and I look for them. I want to make photographs of them. And it's important to me that I find them doing something. If they're just standing there on their phone, if they're just walking across the street, it has to be more than that. I want a little story. I've often said, I want to tap on their shoulder. Hey, take a look over there. Look over there. You got to see what's going on right there. And it's worth looking. It's worth turning. And if I did that with somebody crossing the street on their phone, you would say, why? What, what are you bugging me for? I am looking for them. And I realized there are photographers who don't do that. Photo photographers like Alan Schaller or Phil Penman, who they go and they, I think Alex Webb too, they go and they say, okay, the world is full of objects and people and things, and I can place them strategically. I can photograph through this wheel or through this ring on a swing set, or I can photograph and have something here and something here and something over here and something coming in and something in front. I can do all this layering. In some sense, there is no story about them. There's a story about you, the photographer. What you're saying is, look at me, look what I was able to make with this crazy thing called the world and put these elements together to make a strong photograph full of elements that are very graphic, very beautiful, great design. But those photographs aren't about the people. That figure walking through in silhouette is only there to offer scale and to give some kind of a dimension to the photograph. But it's not about the person. And I realized that. And I thought, boy, that's an interesting thing to think about. Do I want to present the world as if I am the God saying, I'll just put this here and that here and this here and this here? Am I working on showing what I can do? Look what I can do. Look at me. Look at my ability to create. And there's a lot of value to that. You've created something out of something that most of us look around and don't, don't see anything. And you put things together. Your juxtapositioning is perfect for filling a frame full of all kinds of elements. Alex Webb does it with layering of things in the foreground, things in the background, something over here, over here, coming in the corner, all the way. Gregory Crutzen does it, but he actually hires those people. He puts them there, but he's actually placing them into the photograph as hired actors, models. There's something to be said for creating, hey everybody, look at me, look what I made with this stuff that you know about, but I put it together in this way, which I realize is completely different than what I do. My background is as a photojournalist. I go out there looking for the stories of the street. I'm looking for people and what they're doing. I'm not trying to say, look at my ability to put them in places and what they're doing doesn't matter. My, it's all about, it only matters what they're doing. There may be some clever compositions. There may be some times when they are working in a way that they feel like, you know, it's a nice position to have created, but not what I'm going for. I'm not going to say, hey, come with me. Let me show you my work and I'll show you work that is all about me. I'm about all about them. And we get to choose. And neither one is right or wrong. They're just completely different styles. And when you look at street photography, you can often see, does somebody have uh, interest in architecture and figure? Are they enamored with silhouette and scale? Or are they interested in people and emotion, personal stories, small moments? 
and it's possible to combine everything. There's no black and white here, but certainly I see myself as somebody who doesn't typically see that way with the layering and the multi elements all crashing together. That's a different kind of shoot style that I'm not one to see that way. I go out looking for the story. I look for the people's expressions and that's what makes photography wonderful. We get to come up with all kinds of ways of working that best suits us to make the kind of work that we like to make. All right, that's today's photography talk. Hey, if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you could support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I appreciate you. I'll be back next week. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's a good light.